Hi, welcome to Force Asia 2021. And I'm here to talk about the open source growth and open source community Africa. Um, before I start, I would love to do a little bit of introduction about myself. Awesome. So my name is Samson Gadi, or you can call me Samson. I am the co-founder for the Open Source Community Africa, which is a project that I co-founded with a friend sometime around 2018 to, you know, kind of help shape the, the growth and, you know, help enable the, the community when it comes to open source. I also serve as a board for Open Source Collective, which is an amazing project that I, I love because they also enable communities like mine to better, you know, raise money to sustain um, my, the project. And when it comes to open source stuff, I am a contributor for Sugar Labs. I previously was a board member for the project, but right now I'm more focused as a contributor on the project, making sure that, you know, you know, building tools for education is, is a priority for me. So I'm, I'm, it's a project I'm super excited about. Lastly, I am uh, part of this program, amazing program from GitHub called the GitHub Star. And, you know, it enabled me to, you know, interact, better interact with the community at large to see how, you know, we could help when it comes to, you know, sustainability, particularly in communities like mine. So I mean, it's pretty amazing that I'm part of the program. So, you know, if we want to talk about open source, there's one country that, you know, we, we, we should, you know, definitely look out for. And not because I'm from Nigeria, but the fact that there's numbers that <laughs> sort of back, you know, the, 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 the country. So as you can see here, this is the latest report from GitHub showing the fastest growing countries on the platform. So Nigeria happens to be, you know, the fastest growing country when it comes to, you know, um, you know, numbers of projects and, you know, when it, when it comes to like how expanding, you know, and contributors are coming, particularly in the open source space. Now, why is this number growing or, or what does this number represent or what, what is bringing the, this energy from a continent? like Africa. Simple, like I said, or as this um, slide is, is, is showing, about 60% are youth. And these are my friends. Um, we, we took this photo. Well, I'm not dead anyways. So these are my friends. They, they were they're actually standing at the, 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 the festival, which we um, which I'm going to talk about later on. Um, it just shows how young the, the open source community um, space in Africa looks like. This is the typical contributor behind every project that you know. And I can't talk about open source in Africa without talking about the, the tagline. This is something that my, my friends over at Open Source Community Africa, we keep saying the future is open. Now, what does that mean? In order for us to, to make sure that we, we have a system that is that is there to kind of support and to, to also help in collaboration, this is the structure that I, I, I and my friends over at the Open Source Community Africa that we're currently doing when it comes to helping to define, to shape and to help grow you know, the ecosystem. So how are we building? We, we started as, 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 you know, right now, the current version anyways, we, we, we're currently working with developers, designers, and also technical writers. And the reason why we're, we're, we're trying to do more stuff away from, you know, just focus on developers is the fact that, you know, when it comes to open source, there's not just the diversity of people, but also the diversity of skill sets. So it's very important for us, you know, we at Oscar to make sure that we have great supporting system for even, you know, non-coders and, you know, people that do things around other technical skills. So if you look at this slide, you see that um, and at Oscar, which is obviously at the top, it's kind of driven in two ways. There's the community side of things and then there's the project side of things. And between the community side of things, we have a system in place, or I would say more of a program that is called the chapter program. Now this chapter program enable Oscar, which is the open source community Africa, to go into local cities and to be able to help to support what is required in the local cities. So it's like your typical 
um, developers program, like for example, um, one of the most popular developers program in the world is the Google developers program. So it's like the typical GDG that you know that is around your city, but this is more in line with Oscar and more in line with the open source uh, um, vision. So we use this chapter program as a way for us to go into different cities across Africa and then we identify people and also great communities that want to do more in open source. And secondly, the festival, we initially did the first one in 2020. Um, we're still working on seeing the possibility of doing one this year. But the festival aim is to kind of create an annual or maybe twice a year um, program that sort of celebrate and, you know, create a system where people could network like your typical summits, like, or in this case, like Force Asia, right? So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a system in place where we, we have a way for people to come in and to explore and to share things that we're working on. So it's one of the amazing things for us over, at, you know, as part of our community program. Now, when it comes to project, project is a little bit tricky because internally we don't have a lot of project. But for us to be able to make sure that we, like we said, you know, building a next billion creators, which is a, is a, is a team for us internally at Oscar, we want to bring things into two different parts. So first, advocacy, and second, contributions or contributors. Now, advocacy is the opportunity for us to work with people that identify as open source advocates to help them to give them a, a, a system in place that enable them to go out and to publicly talk about open source. So just typically what I'm doing right now, I'm serving as an advocate I'm, uh, for Oscar at Force Asia. So that's what a typical advocate in, in the open source community Africa space does. And then there's the contribution side of things, which is kind of like the same thing anyways, but just different wording. Now we work with open source communities and we work with open source projects in um, outside of Oscar. And then we bring them internally within our community to enable people that want to contribute to project to be for them to be able to contribute. So make, making sure that we have a system in place while working with other communities to make sure that we have more people going into that project. So the advocacy side and the contributor side are two key ways that we drive the project creation and project contributions over at Oscar. <laughs> now this is a bit tricky and this is also very funny um you know one of the things that i've i noticed particularly because myself i've been traveling a lot not thanks to covid anymore um you know whenever i go to conferences or i you know say i'm from africa i'm coming from africa people often confuse africa to be a country and now I'm not going to say, you know, trying to fault anybody in, you know, it's, you know, we are humans, humans make mistakes, but oft, often people don't really want to make research, but it's also really welcome anyways. So Africa is not a country, Africa is a continent. It's a, it's a continent like Asia, like, you know, North America, Europe, South America, and, you know, like I mentioned, Asia and Australia. Now, I'm not obviously going to you know show the map of Africa, but this is more of like to show you where the version one of our program started. Obviously, in Nigeria, which is where most of the open source community Africa folks lives, so it's very typical for us to have more representations in Nigeria compared to other side of uh, the continent. So over at Nigeria, when we started, um, I live in Port Harcourt, and my my co-founder um, um, she, she's based in Lagos. So that was the two main place for us when it comes to having local events. And eventually we grew to more cities within Africa, within Nigeria. And then while working on that, we were like, okay, it's time for us to expand. But then one of the hardest thing in Africa is how diver diverse, you know, the continent is in general from things like language, you know, cultures and multiple things, right? So what we started doing was to closely work with individuals like our friends that are in this, these countries and then see the, pos the, the best possible ways for us to expand the Oscar vision down to their community. And in order for us to do that, we created a chapter program, which I, I, I previously mentioned. Now we use the chapter program to expand to other cities and other countries in Africa. And this, this um, um, screenshot here was, I think was, was taken sometime around late 2019. 
So before 2018, when we started, and sometime around um, late 2019, we're in about five countries and over 11 cities. Currently, we're working on the version two of the chapter program that should enable us to cover as much African um, countries as possible, particularly do more in the, in the South and probably do more in the North. So these are the normal um, uh, ways that our community event looks. So from some photos somewhere in Kenya to some in Port Harcourt to some in Lagos and some in other part of you know, Nigeria and other part of Africa. So what we normally do is to have a local smaller, smaller event where we talk about open source and talk about contributions or even do more hackathons or maybe hack some open source project. Now, this, this is an amazing list for me, and this is a, a, a project created by a friend of mine called Ace Kid. Now, we had a, um, back in Nigeria, again, going back to the GitHub research, there's a lot of projects coming out of Nigeria. One of the most popular one right now on top of my head is called Chakra UI, um, and, and uh, it's being used by a lot of companies and a lot of individuals within the JavaScript ecosystem, and it just shows how amazing it, it is. Now he made a list called Main in Nigeria. It's on GitHub. You can go search it up. And this is the way for you to see projects that have definitely come out of Nigeria into the global open source space. So you can, if you want to learn more about it, the link is down. Um, I think it's called askey.github.io slash Made in Nigeria. And you know, speaking about our community event, we were at some point, in order for us to make people to become creators and to have you know, more open source projects, we started making them to work on projects that may improve the engineering skill or maybe designing skill or technical writing skill. So we worked with our partners, um, Open Collective, which is a platform where Oscar is registered when it comes to fundraising. And what we did at that time was to work closely with the team to come up with a bounty program that would be available within the Oscar ecosystem or Oscar community. And if you look at the slide very well, you see like price tag, like $50, $100, and you know, some other couple price tag being listed. And we closely shared this bounty within the community and people that wants to work with them, definitely start working with them. Aside from the bounties, you know, design is one of the important things here in Africa. You know, Africa does have a lot of art, and it's very typical that it's, you see a lot of designers coming out of the continent. And in order for us to make sure that we have a system in place that will help designers locally, particularly if they want to do more stuff, you know, out of Africa, is by collaborating with the with the kind of in my opinion the the main group that sort of help shape open source design which is the open source design.net group so we started working with them closely sometime around 2019 with some amazing um, members within the, the within the team to kind of work with us closely to see how we could shape things and one of the ways that we create diversity in africa particularly bringing more women in open source is by partnering with a second organization called she code africa so she code africa is a, is a is a non-profit organization that strictly helps more women into technology and sometime around 2019 to 2020 oscar was able to collaborate with she code africa to bring more women into open source um going back to the um, bounties again this was basically what you know we were able to do in order to improve an actual coding experience for some persons that identify as developers. Now, this is kind of the, one of the highlights of the festival, and it's amazing showing how a group of individuals are coming together to discuss open source. Now, just like what I mentioned, right, the next billion creators. Sorry, this was a, a screenshot I took for, from the festival last year, but it just shows how amazing we've come, particularly for the open source community Africa. And it's one of the amazing things that I, I'm, I'm really excited about as a co-founder, seeing how we've been able to grow under the last two years. So anyways, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have more questions, please, um, you can um, probably follow me on Twitter. Uh, let me see if I can go back. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Samson underscore Gaudi, and we could talk more. Thank you very much.